72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. Let's look at that cloud nine, and this line is never on vacation. Start up that mind. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. The channel is actually growing quite a bit, even though I don't upload hardly at all for that. I really appreciate it guys. Thank you all so much for stopping by the streams and not unsubbing for my very biased opinions on some things. So, this is a build that I've been trying to get this video out for like the past week. Whether it's been snowstorms or work or my recording software not recording the fucking clips correctly. It's so maddening. I had like six or seven clips for you guys really showcasing this. Went to go check them out because, you know, I've compiled these over the week. Went to go check them out and every single time I've hit this stupid ass Xbox record button. It records instead of five minutes like the past three minutes and it cuts out it it just makes it look terrible the whole clip's not there and i i'm honestly tired of going into serial trying to get clips with this build it's not that it's bad at all it's actually very very good it's just that it's super maddening to be, because the ap event's over so it what's left is sweaties and zerglings and it's much more difficult to get clips so with all that being said thank you guys tuning around this is the IC conjurer set if you guys kind of get the idea of what sets I'm running it's a very proctard heavy build this is primarily a dueling build but you can tailor it to work very well in open world I was actually very surprised how well this worked I was expecting to get squished where it is a light armor build but uh, I will be introducing one of the sets that's very much slept on and if you guys do the math or have done the math, and if you're already running this on your mag DK, then you know what's up. This is the best sustained set in the game, and no, it's not Lich or Warlock. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Here's the character sheet completely unbuffed. So, let's go ahead and uh, L buff -o up everything else here. So, here's everything that looks like fully buffed. And since we're running a shit ton of proc sets, this damage is just extra. You don't need all this damage, to be honest. Running around 2200 crit resist, which is pretty good. Um, still a lot of people running Malakanth Band and a lot of derpy proc sets. So uh, critical chance. It really isn't as advantageous as it was in the past. Notice on the back, even though we're in light armor, I still have 30k spell resistance and 27k physical resistance. And that's just intrinsically. So let's go ahead... Uh, go back to the character sheet. Uh, primarily running the lady. The reason I'm running the lady because since it is light armor, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to tank up a little bit. You don't really have to worry about your damage, like I said, because your process kind of do it for you. It's pretty brain dead, to be honest. Bewitch Sugar Skulls, uh, by far the cheapest, best, and just easiest to attain. So, what are we running, fellas? First set, running Icy Conjure. This did take me a little while to farm, not going to lie. Running Sharpened as the trait. Sharpened is very important because Sharpened is the only trait that makes your proc sets do more damage because it gives you uh, spell penetration. We're rocking over 20,000 spell penetration on this build. So all the tanks out there, all the heavy armor fuckboys, nah, nah. Running Poisons. The reason we're running Poisons is because of another set we're running. I'll uh, explain that in just a moment. Just keep in mind, we do have seven dots on this build. And that's going to come into play later. Next set we're running, I'm just going to go over a monster set. Now, you can run two monster sets. Uh, you can either run Zons or Valken Scoria. It really depends on your playstyle. Zons can be purged, unfortunately. There, there's a lot of stuff that can cancel Zons if you're up against a decent opponent who knows what they're doing. Valken Scoria just comes out of nowhere. And it's a burst, and you can time it with your leap, and gives you spell penetration. So it just kind of really depends on your playstyle and what you um, kind of expect. If you're playing against a lot of Sorks or, you know, a Mupa Nightblaze, you know, whatever, they can just get away from your Zons. But you can't get away from Valkyrie Scoria, however. So when it comes to your monster sets, um, either Zons or Scoria, I personally like Scoria because of the burst potential. Um, because with Zons, like, when you get that flamethrower attached to you, more than likely your opponents are just going to sit on their back bar for the next five seconds. It's going to be really, really hard to burst them then, so at least Scoria has a surprise factor. Now, the last step we're running, uh, of course Malakanth Ban, but 
The last set we're running is Desert Rose. Only run this on your back bar. Defending trait with weapon damage and enchantment, which helps with damage and heals. Um, this set, guys. I don't know if anyone's sat down, done the math. You know, you don't need Desert Rose on both bars. First of all, every four seconds you get a proc of 2K Magicka. Math-wise, this is essentially uh, 2,000. Oh, excuse me, 1,000 Magicka recovery at all times. So on Mag DK, typically you're gonna go to your back bar every five seconds anyway, give or take. So, plus the chance is really high to proc magic, and plus it's any damage, it's dots, physical, magical, does not matter. And look at it this way: even if you only proc at 50% of the time, it's still better than Lich, considerably better than Lich. It's like 80% better than Lich, even if you proc at 50% of the time. So keep that in mind. It's essentially, you know, a thousand magic recovery if you want to put it in terms like that. Amazing set gives you health, beefs up your resistances, gives you damage. Absolutely slept on set. Um, if you're running this on your back DK, congratulations, you've done your research and you know what's up. Five one one running five light, one medium, one heavy to maximize our dawn and passives. All the traits get around to 2200 crit resist and the rest of them just toss into sturdy. See, I have one divine's piece. I have a reinforced piece and a fucking invigorating piece. It's not that big a deal, to be honest. But toss everything else into uh, sturdy. On the jewelry, um, I suggest just running spell damage to Mag Recov. Um, I played around running three Magic Recov and I still. I think that's too much, to be honest. Um. If you like to over-sustain, which I do, but running another magic recovery is just completely redundant. You really don't need a Desert Rose. So you could possibly get away with running another spell damage. But here's how I have it set up right now. Everything's arcane. So that does it for the sets, guys. Now the skills. The skills will alter a little bit depending on what you're wanting to do. This is a dueling slash open world build. So if you are in open world, definitely run the ice staff the reason i like the ice staff instead of sword and board guys is so you can get this weapon damage proc first of all yeah you do miss out on an extra max maximum magicka slot but we on your back bar anyway you can argue well would you rather have like a thousand extra magicka or 350 spell damage i mean obviously i would take the 350 spell damage so that's my reasoning behind that now forgot where is that skills now, open world ice staff definitely. If, if you're in duels, however, just strictly duels, you might consider running a restoration staff. Um, so you can run rapid regen. Rapid regen is really, really strong. Um, you'll take off wings, obviously, on your back bar and just run rapid regen. So if you're strictly with duels, run Destro Resto with rapid regen on your back bar for sure. Now, if you want this to do both dueling and open world, this is the setup you want to run. So. Run Engulfing Flames. This does get up to 10% fully buffed, I assure you. Boss Lives, base CC in the game. Now, this Engulfing Flames buffs Scoria and Zons. Keep that in mind. Elemental Drain. This is the proc or Icy Conjurer. And if you take a look at the tooltip on Icy Conjurer, it's pretty fucking busted. It's at 30,000. This is essentially a 3,000 tick every one second. Plus, Malakanth Band buffs this even more. So that's 3,600 tick every, actually no, 25%, 6, whatever, 27, 3750, math hard, okay? It's, it's almost a 4K tick every second, and that's really, really hard to mitigate. That's a lot of pressure. And couple that with Zons, and you guys get the point, okay? Completely proc hard set. Super reliable to proc with Ellie Drain. Ellie Drain gives us Magic of Steel, NM Plies. Uh, major breach to them, making her proc sets do even more damage. Flame Lash, just to keep up the pressure on the front bar, keep your Power Lashes going, keep your healing up. Burning Embers, kind of the same effect. Burning Embers applies uh, Burning Effect, so let me go over the dots. If you plan on running Scoria, this is why I run Double Poison. So you have your Double Poison, that's 2, Burning Embers, 3, the Burning Effect, 4, Engulfing Flames, 5, on your back bar. You have Entropy 6, and then you have Volatile Armor 7. 7 dots. It's a really, really high uptime on your Scoria. It pretty much procs off cooldown. It really does. Last but not least, Ferocious Leap. Gap Closer. Um, 
very helpful with Zons actually when they're starting to get away from you and you're slow and they're just outrunning your uh, your 50% snare movement speed. It seems like all the times you can just leap to them, so Zons won't disconnect. Uh, Cauterize on the back bar. Uh, this gives us crit on the back bar, which helps our healing and also gives us a little bit of heal like every five seconds. Not the biggest deal, but it does give us the crit and a little bit of extra healing when we don't have to spam. Coag, don't be afraid to spam Coag, to be honest. Um, if you're stuck on your back bar and you're constantly backpedaling, spamming wings and Coag, that's perfectly fine because Desert Rose is going to proc literally off cooldown. And the amount of sustain it provides is just phenomenal. You can stay on your back bar for quite a while and typically on DK, that's the last thing you want to do. You can actually get away with it if you're on Desert Rose. Dragonfire Scale, uh, this actually does hellacious damage against the... Uh, any projectile spam class, you know, kind of like Nightblade or Sork or whatever. Uh, you can. This is more or less a flex spot. I prefer wings uh, because this is light armor. You still need a little bit of tankiness. Uh, volatile armor, like I said, this applies a dot. I actually apply this every 10 seconds to every 20 to keep the dots up to keep my scoria proct. And then degeneration. This is our major sorcery buff as well as a pretty hefty dot um, over time. Last is temporal guard. Gives you minor. Uh, protection on your back bar and it has a little bit of outplay potential uh, not so much you know, compared to other classes like Sork but you can definitely thin the herd with this ability jumping on cliffs and whatnot so let me reiterate for duels take off Dragonfire skill run restoration staff and rapid regen for open world this is what you want to run okay potions wise I always run one potion Obviously you need detect pots, just gotta have them. And then the potion I run uh, gives you uh, minor heroism, which gives you ult. And for a DK, you know, with your battle or passive that any ult gain is very important. Gives you your magic and magic recovery and also stamina and your stamina recovery. So you can make this by, it's Dragon's Blood, uh, Dragon Rim, and Columbine are the three. Uh, kind of expensive, but well worth it in the end. Next, or last, I should say, champion points. As you guys could probably guess, 0 into Elfborn, 37 bless, 49, 43, even more spell pin. Like I said, we have like a little over 20k spell penetration on this build. So compare that to a heavy armor build, which typically has maybe 5 if you're lucky. So about every 5,200 and so spell pin, your spells do an extra 10% more damage than what their tooltips say. So when you compare this to a heavy armor build, you have like 15,000 more spell pin. So that's like 10, almost 25 more percent damage on your tooltip compared to what heavy armor is. So just keep that in mind. Uh, even though the tooltips aren't high, it's actually much higher than uh, what you may think. 61 Master at Arms. Uh, I'm not max CP. I'm still missing like 15 CP. So if the numbers aren't rounded correctly, it's, that's why. Thaumaturge 75 just to get the exported passive. 56, 21. Light armor, blah, blah, blah. Looks pretty, pretty normal. Rest of your points, toss into Expert Defender. Warlord, Sprinter, Siphoner. Arcanius, even though we don't have too big of a measure recovery pool, it still helps. Healthy, tenacity, don't put any points on Mooncalf, just kind of a waste. And the rest of your points in Tumbling Shadow Ward. So, hopefully you guys like this build. Um, please, hit the sub button if you want to see this. I will be live streaming this all week. Anytime you guys see me on a Mag DK, it will be this build right here. If you need proof, until then guys, you're just going to have to take my word for it that this build definitely does work. I would not bring you guys bullshit. I'm probably going to get some hate from this from not having clips. Probably lose subscribers over it. It happens. It's not from a lack of trying. I tried all week to get a lot of clips and compile them and make them really cool. But shit happens, fellas. Bear with me. Things will get better on this channel. I promise. I promise. Just got to hang in there. And like I said, please like the video if you actually liked it. Sub if you want to be notified when I go live. And this has been Horcrux. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day. Enjoy the snow if you're in Indiana. We have probably about a foot of snow outside right now. So I'm not going to work tomorrow, so I'll probably stream. Deuces.